Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today we're back at it again with another Curl Smith hair makeup tutorial. Thank you Curl Smith for sponsoring yet another video. Y'all are pretty much just paying for the videos that you guys, my subscribers, my curl friends are begging for. So in my last hair makeup video, I showed you the color Ruby, which was fire. If you haven't seen that, go watch that video. But then I asked all of you, what color do you want me to try next? And the most common answer was all of them. So I think I'm gonna try them all. In today's video, not only am I going to show you the rest of the colors in the collection, I'm also gonna show you how you could refresh with these and how to go to sleep with this color on your hair. So let's get started. So fresh out the shower, I'm going to grab the Curlsmith Weightless Air Dry Cream, which is their leave-in conditioner. I'm going to apply this to all the curls. Get those ends so they're not dry. We are applying a gel, so if you guys don't like too much hold, a leave-in is going to kind of help make it not as hard. I don't mind it, but I liked how it worked last time with the leave-in first. You don't have to use a leave-in conditioner, but it is recommended, so let's just do what they say. And conditioned. Now let's start applying this color in sections. Grabbing the Curlsmith Color Recipe Copper Temporary Color Styling Gel. All of these are vegan, cruelty-free, no sulfates, parabens, or silicone, and it has apricot, orange peel, pumpkin, and carrot. Hey, I know all those words. Thanks for using clean ingredients. Ooh, look at that. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> I'm gonna look like a little pumpkin. Is it bad that I kind of want to just glop it on like I normally do? I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Went hard this time. Let's just go full force. Oh yeah, now we're talking. That's fun. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. See, I'm just not a sections type of girl. I just like to get straight to the point. Oh, it's so pretty. Side number one. Clap your hands, everybody. Everybody, clap your hands. Fire. So now I'm gonna let this air dry and then I'm gonna add more color if I want it to be a little bit more vibrant and then diffuse. One of my favorite things about this gel is how quickly it dries. My hair usually takes like all day to dry, but this takes like 30 minutes and we're ready to diffuse. Whew, talk about a length check. My bangs have definitely grown out. Hello there. Oh, these colors are just so fun. So now we do our final inspection. Do we like how it is? Do we want to add more? YOLO. Let's add a little bit more just to see what happens. Going back over it on dry hair, really adds that extra color. Now let me get the back of my head because I know I probably neglected it. There we go, how's that look? Hopefully even better. So let me wash this off. Shout out to my baby for the baby wipes. When you're picking out your hair, you might notice some color on your pick. That's because in your roots, it probably wasn't dry all the way, but just like everything else, it just wipes right off. And here's the final look. Volume is popping, curls are so defined, and I really like the shimmer. I'm glad I put on that second coat while dry just to kind of boost up my roots. Now for the copper color, when I fluffed it out, I did notice little tiny like copper particles but you kind of just brush them off, brush them shoulders off, and they're gone. I am obsessed with another color. This is so amazing for chickens like me that don't want to commit to all these different colors, but want to see what it looks like. And 
It's a gel. It's easy. Another one down, three to go. What should we try next? Another day, another color. And today I'll be using rose gold. Now once again, when applying the color, you shouldn't wear a cute shirt that you actually want to wear out. You should just wear like a whatever shirt until it dries and then change into your cute outfit. But I'm out here trying to be cute for YouTube, so I'm going to be matching today. Here we go. While I'm applying these products, let me answer some questions you guys had on Instagram. Do you style your hair with other products first? No, that's the great thing about this color is that it's a gel, so you don't need to add any other stylers because it is a styler on its own. Does it make your hair really crunchy? The gel definitely does have a cast, and the more you add, the more cast you're going to get. But you are able to scrunch it out or diffuse it, so it's not as hard. Will it transfer if you sweat? Well, it's not waterproof, but if you swim every day, you sweat profusely, you're always stuck in the rain, this probably isn't going to be the best option for you. But if you're looking for something just fun to change up your color without any type of damage or commitment, this is the way to go. Okay, so we're getting a very like shiny light pink color. Because my hair is dark, I think I am gonna need to use a lot of this rose gold to get like a full vibrant color. I'm very curious to see how this is gonna look dry, so I'll come back in about an hour. And I'm back and it is completely dry. This is a very light, subtle, color it's almost giving me like a dusty pink almost gray vibe but let's see what happens when I add more color to it okay that's better now let's make it even bigger Let's answer some more questions. Is it hard to wash out? No, it's super easy to wash out with just one rinse. You guys could see me wash it out in my first video when I used the color Ruby. Alrighty, so as a gel, it still looks amazing when it comes to my definition of my curls. Color-wise, it's very soft and subtle. Next, I'm gonna try the gold. So now I'm gonna try something new. I'm actually gonna grab the hair makeup in the color gold and apply it on my dry hair. So what I like to use it for instead is to enhance my existing highlights, or you could use it on your dark hair for like light highlights. So let me show you how I apply the color gold just to get a little extra pop. And just as an FYI, I am applying this to my day two hair that I refreshed with using the Curlsmith Hydro Style Flexi Jelly. like extra kind of yellow gold under these bright lights but just in normal lighting it just kind of makes my hair look a little bit lighter overall making it like a lighter brown but it definitely gives you a metallic gold shimmer finish the first time I tried the gold I did notice it didn't transfer per se but it did leave some little gold shimmers I personally didn't mind because I'm a glittery type person so it's like getting a free body shimmer all in one but it was nothing like excessive and unbearable just a little extra shimmer here and there. So now that I turned off some of my really strong lights in a normal lighting setting like indoors, it makes it look like a nice lighter brown. So it's interesting how the colors are gonna look different depending on the lighting that you're in. I think as long as you remember that it's like a gold shimmer hair makeup and it's not supposed to be a blonde hair dye replacement, you're gonna like it for a little pop of color. All right, we are at the home stretch. Turquoise, you're up next. Okay, so this one already seems more liquidy than the other ones. That's a really pretty blue. If I had a blue car, it'd be this color. Ooh, I'm like a little avatar. All right, but on my dark hair, probably gonna need to apply a lot. Let's see how this goes. I didn't put a leave-in first. Well, this is now an experiment. How will it work without the leave-in?
because this one is more watery, it's actually not sticking to my hands as much as the other colors. So this one has blueberry borage, periwinkle, and juniper. Okay, this is giving me mermaid vibes. I don't know why, I don't know of any mermaid that has blue hair, but that's just how I feel. I think all the colors smell the same. They smell like fruity, they don't smell like harsh aerosol colors or anything. It just smells like all the fruit extracts that are in it. I'm gonna let this dry and we'll see how it looks. Okay, now it's drier. Let me start diffusing. So my blonde roots mixed with the turquoise are kind of making this like gray color. It's kind of pretty though. It's making like a blue to gray ombre, but let's add more for more blue. Oh, yeah. I like the fun colors. If you want vibrant colors, it's all about that second go around while it's dry. So pretty. All right, so now I'm gonna put on a white shirt for the transfer test. Don't mind this. This is obviously how it's gonna look when you're applying the product while wet, so don't wear anything that you like love while applying it. But now that it's dry, it should be good to go. White shirt on. So far. So good. And as you can see by my hands, they're clean, no stained nails. So now let's pick this out to make it even Bigger. It's really a shame that I'm doing all this just to go to bed. That's better. But I do want to show you how to go to sleep with these colors. So although it looks so cute right now, I'm going to put it up in a pineapple so you guys can see what I do. So at nighttime, I just get all of my hair and then I put it in a pineapple just like that. Since I've been playing with these colors all week long, I've tried a couple different ways to go to bed. One is just by putting up in a pineapple like this, sleeping on a satin pillowcase. I looked in the morning and I didn't see any crazy transfer on my bed. I was expecting my pillows to be red or blue or whatever the color may be, but it really doesn't transfer like that. But if you're nervous about your bed sheets, then you could get some type of satin bonnet. This is actually a satin turban and you could just go like this, put all the curls in there. Then your curls are up and away and totally protected. I've tried both ways and I didn't really notice much of a difference. So for the sake of this video, let me show you the worst case scenario where I don't put anything over it. I'm just gonna sleep with these blue curls on a pillowcase and I'll show you guys the transfer or lack of in the morning. And then I'll show you how to refresh with the color and we might even refresh with red to make purple. And today is the final day of color. This is how my hair looked when I woke up in the morning. Let me show you my pillowcase after a night of sleeping. And as you can see, no pillowcases were harmed in the making of this video. So now let me show you how to refresh. Let's see how my pineapple did. I've also just dubbed this the dirty color robe until I'm done with all these colors. So here's how my curls look, straight out the pineapple. I am gonna add a little bit of water just for the parts that got stretched out, easy fix. But here's my dilemma. Do I just refresh with the blue or should I add a little bit of red to make purple? Let's see how these look together. So let me see what happens when I mix a little bit of the blue with, excuse me, the turquoise a little bit of the ruby. See how much thicker the red one is? I wonder why. Ooh, I could get purple. Oh, what do we think? I really like the blue though. And this is kind of like a darker purple because the ruby is so deep. So in order to refresh, I do add a little bit of water. If you're gonna avoid adding water, that's gonna be even better because it is gonna kind of wash out, but this is how I refresh. So I'm gonna spritz a little here. Now because we're wetting it, 
it's going to transfer onto my hands because it's wet. Remember, it's not water resistant. It is going to just act like you're gonna rinse it out, but I just want to fix the curl a little bit. So the water is gonna reactivate the gel to make your curls to find again. Let's see what happens if I combine it with some Ruby. Oh, that's pretty. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna mix some purple on top of it. So let's add the blue, and now let's add the Ruby on top and make purple. Oh, okay, that really worked. Let's just go for it. Let's do purple. So here we go, blue versus purple. Ruby mixed with turquoise. You almost can make like a magenta color if you add more red. I guess the possibility with these colors are endless when you start mixing. Ooh, this looks like a snow cone. And there's how you make purple. I do think I want to add little pops of turquoise because I just really like this turquoise. Just a little. Now I did hear through the grapevine that they are gonna be coming out with more color. Somebody posting either a picture or video on Instagram, comment on that and let them know what color you want them to make next. I do like this mix of the red and blue to make purple, but if I was gonna go purple, I would love like a really bright purple, like this purple. So now you have officially seen every color of the Curl Smith hair makeup on my hair. If you missed my first video showing you the color Ruby, I'll link it down below so you guys can check that out. But let me know which color was your favorite, Ruby, Gold, Turquoise, Rose Gold, or Copper. If I had to choose, I might say that Copper was like the most vibrant and fun, especially on dark hair. If you have dark hair, I'd probably go with Copper, Turquoise, or Ruby. If you want this little subtle shimmer, then I'd go with the Gold or the Rose Gold. My concluding thoughts would be, I love that it's a gel, so it's a styler, it's really easy to apply. You do get a little like shimmer fallout if you're touching it a lot, but it does not stain your clothes or your skin, and that's probably the most important part. So whether you're a guy, girl, have long hair, short hair, blonde hair, dark hair, loose curls or tight curls, I've seen some beautiful results. It's even fun and safe enough to use on kids. So if you guys try any more colors, I'd love to see how they look on you. So make sure you tag me on Instagram. Each bottle is three fluid ounces. And when I asked you guys on Instagram how long you were able to wear it, many of you said about four to five days. Some of you went even a full week. So it depends on how much you apply, how vibrant you want it to be, how heavy handed you are, how much hair you have. All those things are gonna play a factor. But with the way that I applied it in this video, I probably can get another at least one or two uses out of each one. Each bottle is three fluid ounces. They're available at Ulta Beauty or the Curl Smith website for $19.99. So the color will slowly start to fade the longer you wear it, but if you just keep applying more color, you should be able to get it back to its normal and vibrant state. So overall, these colors were super fun to try. If you guys are bored in the house and you're in the house bored, do this instead of dyeing your own hair. I know a lot of hair salons are closed, so this is how you can kind of get your like creative fix without ruining your hair. If you enjoyed all this color experimenting, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also go follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.